This video is going to be a tutorial and a demonstration for the Canopus ADVC 110. I'm going to capture some video from this particular VCR. I'm going to hit play to make sure the cassette is playing. Within Premiere Pro, I'm going to go to the menu bar. I'm going to go over to the file tab. I'm going to scroll down to capture. This will bring up Premiere Pro's capture utility. Where we have logging, we can go to audio and video, or we can select just audio or select just to record the video. In the settings tab, we want to hit this little edit button right here. We want to make sure that DV is selected. We have the option for HDV and black magic capture as well. If I wanted to capture from my intensity shuttle, I would want to select black magic capture. This Canopus ADVC 110 will be recognized as a mini DV camcorder. That's why we want to leave DV selected. We'll select OK. Where we have the browse button, all this simply does is allow you to select the folder that you want the audio and video to be recorded into or saved into, I guess you could say. Where we have device control, for this particular device, we could leave it to none. It's not going to make any difference. But we're going to select DV and HDV device control. If we had a DV camera, all these controls in, you know, the jog, shuttle, record, you could control a mini DV camcorder with these buttons or controls right here within Premiere Pro's graphic user interface. But with this type of device, all you really do is hit play on the VCR and then you'll be able to record it. Where we have the options, we have NTSC and PAL. We want NTSC, we have Canopus. If I was gonna record from this ADS Pyro device, we would select the ADS instead of the Canopus. We want Canopus selected. I have standard, there's a couple different options. Standard is gonna work out just fine for us. We're gonna leave it at auto detect as well. So I can select OK, everything is set up. The reason we're not seeing anything on the monitor or on the graphic user interface of Premiere Pro is because I have to make the switch to analog in. Once we make the switch to analog in, you can see that everything's functioning 100%. In order to capture, all I have to do is hit the record button. It's recording right now. We don't need a lot of video, so I'll hit stop. I'll label this DV video 01 and I'll select OK. I have to, on the ADVC 110, select analog in again. Now it'll give us the option to record. As I stated, we don't need a lot of video for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'll hit stop. We'll leave it at the default name and select OK. I can close out of that. We can play back video easy enough. These are the two video clips we just recorded. I'll drop and drag them in this timeline. This is a DV25 timeline, mini DV timeline. And it's that simple to record and play back video clips with Premiere Pro when using an analog to digital video converter. The video clip right here is HD. This is from my HD camera. The analog to digital video converter when using Premiere Pro can output just about anything. This timeline or sequence right here is 4K video, but you can tell it's got the ultra wide aspect ratio. You can tell it's got more letterboxing at the top and bottom than the HD video clip. It's easy for Premiere Pro along with this ADVC 110 to output, like I said, just about any aspect ratio, any frame rate, any resolution. I'll hit play. If you're just doing cuts only editing, it'll, it'll look just fine. If you're playing a picture in picture or motion graphics, it depends on how you have the timeline or sequence set up to whether or not it'll play back smooth. So it is nice to be able to make use of this monitor here so then I could have my both my computer monitors used for Premiere Pro's graphic user interface. 
In order to output to the broadcast compliant monitor, you do have to make sure things are set up correctly in Premiere Pro. I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll hit stop. Within Premiere Pro, you want to go to the menu bar. You want to go to the edit tab. You want to scroll down to preferences, and then you want to scroll down to playback. Within playback, you have the option to enable the mercury transmit. You do need that enabled. You want to probably select Adobe DV for the audio. That will allow it to go to the DV converter and the sound will come out your TV or your broadcast compliant monitor. You could select the Blackmagic design, the intensity shuttle. The audio could come out through there while the video comes out, the Canopus ADVC 110. You could play it through the Adobe desktop, which would be your computer speakers. It's up to you where you want the audio to come from, but I would just select Adobe DV myself. And then you want to make sure you have a Adobe DV selected here. If I wanted to come out the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle, obviously I would pick the Blackmagic product. It's that simple.